everybody, it's Dizzy, and today I've got a video teaching you guys how to get this look. It's basically faux victory rolls and a faux front roll on very, very, very short hair. This is the back. And if you guys like to see how I got this, just keep watching. Okay, so let me tell you how I set my hair. The first thing I did is make a part that went from the crown of my head to either side in the front from the arch of my brow. Then there's another part from the top of my head to the bottom of my ear on either side and then the back. So the way I rolled my hair is the sides are rolled in pen curl rows that go up and around, so away from the face. Then the top, everything is rolled in stand-up pen curls going this way. In the back, everything is rolled under, but do you see these duckbill clips? They're holding that crown flat, and that's so I'll have a nice flat crown when I brush this out. So I'm gonna start taking out the clips, and then I'll kinda show you guys. Now, I also have some tiny rollers here at the bottom that are Velcro rollers that I use because my hair is just a little too short in the very bottom. Now, when you remove sponge rollers, you always want to take the time to unwrap them. You never just want to pull them out because if you just pull them out, they'll get frizzy. And with pen curls, you just want to remove the clip like so, but not actually do anything to them right away. So I'll go ahead and take all that out and speed through this and be back. Okay, so this is what we've got happening. As you can see, there's a lot of curl. I'm gonna take my wet brush and I'm gonna just start brushing through. You wanna brush very gently. You don't wanna like whip your hands through the curl, you know, rip your brush through the curl. And then through the top, I'm just brushing it forward once. I can brush it against my hand. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to this kind of fuzzy boar bristle brush. And just create a little more smoothness. So what I've done is I've taken the hair, sectioned it up, and I'm just curling the top into kind of a pin curl. And because I don't have a lot of hair, this is not gonna be a lot of volume or anything like that, but it will give you kind of the effect. I'm gonna take a tiny bobby pin. Put that in. Then I'm going to take another small bobby pin, and these are amazing. They're the goodie mini bobby pins. And this is great if you're like me and you have very fine hair. And then I'm going to take one more of these tiny ones.
and just put what you need to put in to get it to stay. I just realized I forgot my hairspray, so I'll be right back. Garnier Fructis Flexible Hold Hairspray. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that on there. And there we go. So that is one side. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. You could tease this, but I personally never tease my hair because my hair is bleached and I don't want to damage it any more than it already is. So this side is not cooperating quite as well. <laughs> and that's the thing when you're trying to do these looks with short hair is you just have to kind of be patient with the hair. You've done everything you can by doing those pin curls in the direction it's going to go. <laughs> you're halfway there. So yeah, that's a start. It means your hair is at least going in that direction. My sides are just a little too short. So I bobby pin them. With these mini bobby pins, they're so easy to hide that I don't mind using a few to get what I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray that. And I mean, yeah, they're not perfect, but you know, you've got really short hair. You're doing what you can. So the top. And as you can see, I've got some shorter, like, real bang pieces. So I'm going to spray that with a little bit of spray. And then I'm going to just kind of try to pull that into whatever roll I can with my hair. I don't know, do I want a roll? Do I want just a rolled bang? I think for the front, I'm just gonna do a big pen curl and call that good. Okay, so that's the front. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. I should have done that sooner. Okay, that's the front. So then let's look at the back and really see what needs to happen back there because it may need a little bit more love. Actually, I'll leave this back. My mirror. You know what, the back is pretty good. The back's pretty good. I'm gonna do um, some hair flowers. So there's a couple options. You could do a big one, which is cute, but I feel like it's not proportional to my hair. 
or you could do two symmetrical smaller ones. So I think that's where I'm gonna go with it. So there you go. There is my trick for creating mock victory and front rolls on a very short hair. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, please put them down below. I love to hear from you guys and thank you so much for watching. Also, if it's your first time here, please subscribe. I do hair tutorials all the time and I would love to have you along for the ride and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.